Good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Bite Size Bible. It's great you can join us this morning. Today we are in Mark chapter 6 and we're going to read verses 30 to 44. Let's read Mark chapter 6, starting at verse 30. The apostles gathered round Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me, by yourselves, to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognised them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. By this time it was late in the day, so his disciples came to him. This is a remote place, they said, and it's already very late. Send the people away so that they can go to the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered, You give them something to eat. They said to him, That would take more than a half year's wages. Are we to go and spend that much on bread and give it to them to eat? How many loaves do you have? he asked. Go and see. When they found out, they said five and two fish. Then Jesus told them to make all the people sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people. He also divided the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces of bread and fish. The number of the men who had eaten was five thousand. Well, this week we are joining with Christians across the world as part of the Thy Kingdom Come prayer movement, which seeks to pray for the growth of God's gospel. Uh, so this morning we're going to continue to do that. We're going to pray for the state of ourselves uh, and the church uh, and for our witness. And we're going to pray uh, for the growth of God's kingdom. Let's pray together. O oh God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly pray that it may please you to reveal your ways to all people and your saving power to all nations. In particular, we pray for your church, that it may be guided and governed by your Spirit, in such a way that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith in unity of Spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. We commend to your fatherly goodness all who are in any way afflicted or distressed. Be pleased, O Lord, to comfort and relieve them according to their various needs. Give them patience in their sufferings and a happy deliverance out of their afflictions. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's pray the, pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.